right, hey, this is Alan with See You on the Trail. We just finished with Dirt Riot Nationals, the Rampage. Rampage, hashtag Rampage 2015. Um, we're sitting here with one of uh, one of the racers and one of the entrants. Um, we got Chris Summer and Sam Kazen as co-driver. And um, I, I'll tell you what, Chris, tell us what happened um, today and how did your race go? You know, we uh, we started off right mid-pack, which was a great qualifying for us. We, that's about, you know, we wanted to be in the top 10. And uh, we caught the car in front of us pretty quick. We were already inside the pits. We already was on their tail about 12 seconds behind them. And uh, we got to the back side of the course and the car started acting up on us. We had some, it, it stalled on us a couple of times. Uh, still was running good though. Still was hard and pushing hard. We were still chasing, we were right on the guy's tail. Um, but we had some some weird issues going on. We get on the back side of the course and we're about to get back into the quarry and finish the first lap and uh, and the car just, I lose all throttle and we had to shut it down out there. So I, we thought we lost the throttle cable. Uh, so we get out of the car, we're right in a fast section and we're in a blind, I mean, come on top of the hill. So we're worried about cars running into us. So we, Sam busted out and, and took care of lap traffic for us while I was diagnosing the car. We thought maybe it was electrical issues, so we called back to Pitts and had them bring us a, uh, another competitor brought us a, uh, uh, my code reader to, to see if it was, elect you know, th there was a, a code that, you know, went to limp mode or something. Yeah, but before you, before you finish off that conversation, um, <coughs> one thing about Dirt Ride is everybody says that uh, competitors help you and nobody believes you, but this is an actual true conversation. What, what competitor actually took the time to stop, grab something, and then come bring it to you to, to make sure they were still competing with Willie you? Willie Edwards. I just met him not too long ago, so we really don't know each other that well. That's but, awesome. But he was in pits having some issues, and so our pit went down and talked with his and said, hey, will you throw this out? No codes, like, oh, huh? no. So, so like, oh, no. So when did you send him into pits? Because I know I he, caught him walking later. He was in the, he left for the, <laughs> he left for the pits before the code reader got there, so he already took off. Yeah, uh, I ran into you, Sam. Yes. Uh, while we were, while I was going to another spot to videotape, yep. I ran into you hiking, and the first thing you said to me was, uh, "No interviews right now. I got things to do." <laughs> and well, what yeah, what was I going went. through your mind as you were hiking back here? Uh, just glad I had shorts on under my race suit, and I'm glad I borrowed my brother's hiking shoes. I so I get right here. Good. And Simple I got things. here, and and. Uh, I hung around long enough to figure out whether or not I needed to bring anything extra back. I grabbed a bottle of water, a couple tools, uh, TPS sensors with the direction we were going uh, with it, and then um, it seemed like it took forever. We wanted him to go through fuses and you know just the mass sensor, yeah. get the reading on the code, see what that fuel was pressure. all about. Fuel pressure. We went through all that stuff while I'm coming back here, and I was here about 20 minutes while he was still messing with stuff. And, cool. Uh, now, did you hike back with tools, or did he yeah. pick you up in pit, or did no, you hike no. all the way back? Um, I, as a matter of fact, on the way here, I was offered a ride. I was like, sorry, can't. And they were like, oh, okay. And then on the way back, I had a TPS sensor, a handful of tools, and a bottle of water. Come to find out, the whole time that I'm actually running and working my off. He's actually sitting in the shade off to the side. So when we got back there, TPS sensor wasn't it, and uh, turns out that we just had a mechanical problem with the butterfly and the butterfly rod in the throttle body. And um, by the time we figured that out, there's 15, 20 minutes left. White flag so. was out. It, it was a simple thing. The car's good though. She's good now. So yeah. we fixed it when we came back in pit. Next plan for uh, after this race, you guys gonna tear down? Or you going to the next race? You know, there's one more race here local, uh, King of the Canyons. It's a local, like unsanctioned race. It's five hours away. I would love to go there and race. You need to tear down and, and learn this car. Right? We need to. We need to work on the car. We've never. I mean, we've never worked on it. Adam has done. Adam did the prep before this race, and that was kind of the plan because I didn't have time between Hot Springs and now. Hot Either maybe make a race. Do it. It's a, it's in October. It's 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 just next month. So huh? or tear it down and get ready for King of the Hammers. Well, everything's uh, everybody's kind of peeling out of, of pit row and. We're going to sit back and drink a few beers and talk about the rest of the night. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, I appreciate it. Man, I appreciate you Sam, coming out. Thank you. Good to meet you. And uh, we will be um, we'll be at King of the Hammers. Hopefully, we'll be able to cover you guys winning the Heck, King of the Hammers. Man, I, I, we just we, we want to get there with this brand new car, and it's a rocket ship. So, we're going to. That's, that's the first goal. Everybody knows the King of the Hammers is just a 
to beat down just to even get there. Yeah, so we're gonna start off the year and we're gonna race all Ultra 4 next year. Maybe some of the less, depending on how we fare in the East Coast races. And uh, then also Dirt Ride, Central Series at least. Probably gonna tackle in some, just depending on time, we both have kids, small kids and in lives outside racing. I mean, my, our race number is our my daughter's birthday, so, but you know that. Right, and you know, yeah. you know my family. Oh, yeah. And so, so, yeah, well, cool. we're excited, man. I'm glad you came out too, I appreciate oh, it. I appreciate it. Yeah. I being out, love being out here because basically that's the only reason I'm out here is for friends and family and, and to watch some good racing. Heck so, yeah. We appreciate it. Uh, guys, I guess we'll see you on the trail. Hell yes. yeah. Thank you. Later guys. Right. I appreciate it.